ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் குட் மார்னிங் டு ஒன் அண்ட் ஆல் மா இன் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் வி கேன் சீ இந்த லா த ஃபோர் யூனிட்ஸ் மா அப் டு நவ் த நவ் கமிங் டு த லாஸ்ட் யூனிட் தட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் அவர் கிரிட் அண்ட் கிளவுட் கம்ப்யூட்டிங் அ சப்ஜெக்ட் த லாஸ்ட் யூனிட் அ நேம் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் அ செக்யூரிட்டி வாட் மா அ செக்யூரிட்டி the name what it says a security to provide some security uh, to our businesses to our projects to our organizations wherever it may be if you have a security okay must and should um, provide a security in this concept in our subject grid and cloud computing the last unit that is nothing but our fifth unit uh, security uh, if we have to provide a security for a uh, grid security okay what you have to provide uh, a security for which purpose in the sense uh, in a grid uh, first of all if we have to learn about uh, what is security exactly what does it mean and if we have to learn about uh, the concepts uh, in our uh, uh, security uh, subject uh, the first content uh, the first concept is uh, trust models for grid security environment what my the first topic is uh, in our uh, fifth unit that is nothing but uh, trust trust model if we have to believe that model for grid security uh, environment in this concept we have to learn what is a grid security first of all if we have to uh, define a grid security how we can uh, secured uh, in that uh, grid environment by using uh, if we have used some trust models uh, how many uh, trust models we are used um, in that concept um, for uh, the purpose of uh, uh, security in at a grid environment okay now we can discuss the first topic that is nothing but uh, trust models uh, for grid security uh, environment first of all i gave some brief uh, uh, explanation of uh, uh, security uh, and then uh, trust models for uh, grid security environment uh, first of all before we are discussing uh, uh, the definition of trust and what is the need for grid security uh, before we are discussing um, this trust and grid security environment what are the trust models involved in that security before we are learn about this what is security what is the purpose of security why are why are you moving that the, the concept of security now we can discuss that uh, mainly what i meant to say now a uh, security issues may occur in a uh, grid environment um, if qualified a uh, security mechanisms are not in at place so uh, these issues include some network sniffers what is the meaning of the sniffer in the sense it is an application aimed at capturing a uh, network packets ma and out of control access and uh, faulty operations uh, some fault operations will be occur- will be occurred there and one more malicious operation also um, include in that uh, grid environment and integration of local security mechanisms and delegation and one more the dynamic resources and what are the services and attack um, provenance and so on so many things are there coming to the security issues our main concept of our security security issues may occur in a, a grid environment uh, if it qualified some security mechanisms are not in at place ma now uh, these issues include some network sniffers out of control access faulty operations malicious operations and integration of local security mechanisms and delegation and dynamic resources and what are the services and attack uh, provenances and so on so many so many is there etc okay these are the security issues occur at uh, a grid security okay grid environment sorry at grid environment it may occur what of course we can say a uh, security uh, at computational grids are uh, motivated by the desire uh, to share some processing resources among many organizations uh, to solve a large scale problems so indeed a uh, grid sites may exhibit 
unacceptable security conditions and system vulnerabilities on the one hand you can say a user job demands the resources um, site to provide a security assurance okay by issuing a security demand on other hand what i meant to say the site needs to reveal its uh, trustworthiness uh, called its uh, trust index okay so this about two parameters um first of all security demand and next one a trust index these about two uh, parameters um, must satisfy a security assurance conditions okay trust index is greater than or equal to security at demand what i meant to say now in the sense during the job mapping a process when we are determining its security demand and as well as users usually care about some typical attributes ma so these attributes and their values are dynamically changing and we are depending heavily on the trust model security policies and accumulated reputation and one more self defense capability and attack history and site vulnerability these are the three challenges are outlined below to establish uh, the trust among a uh, uh, grid sites okay you, if you have to learn about the three challenges here one by one uh, now i can explain um, now i can now i can establish the trust among a uh, uh, grid sites okay uh, first of all the first challenge uh, is nothing but integration what my what i meant to say now uh, integration Mm, first challenge is integration with existing systems and the technologies so the resources sites in a grid are usually uh, heterogeneous hetero in the sense different 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 and autonomous okay it's not it's independent it is unrealistic to expect Uh, that is single type of uh, a security it can be matchable or not with and adopted by every hosting environment so at the same time existing security infrastructures on that sites it cannot be uh, replaced overnight thus to be a successful and grid security architecture needs to step needs to a uh, step up to the challenge of integrating with existing security architecture and some models across the platform and the hosting environments okay so we can study about these things the three challenges to establish the trust among a grid sites the first challenge is integration coming to the second challenge it is nothing but interoperability okay the second challenge is interoperability with different hosting environments in the sense um, services are often uh, invoked across uh, multiple uh, domains and need to be able to interact with them um, one another so interoperation is demanded at the protocol and policy and we have to identity at the levels will be there for all these levels interoperation uh, must be uh, protected uh, securely okay now coming to the third challenge is nothing but to construct a trust relationship what we want to construct there the trust relationship among interacting a uh, hosting environments so a grid service request can be handled by combining resources on multiple security uh, domains so the trust relationships are required by these domains uh, during the end to end traversals so a service needs to be open to friendly and interested entities so that they can submit requests and access securely 
so what i am saying uh, these three challenges uh, what exactly they do in the sense the resource sharing uh, okay um, the what are the readily available materials we want to sharing among entities uh, is one of the major goal of a grid computing uh, okay it is one of the major goal of a grid computing what is a grid computing it is a distributed computing infrastructure it's it it produces efficiently and effectively so a trust relationship uh, must be um, established uh, before the entities in the uh, grid interoperate with them, one another so finally the entities have to choose um other entities that can meet the requirements of a trust uh, to coordinated with um entities uh, that submit a request okay entities what the purpose that submit request should believe the resource providers will try to uh, process their request and return the uh, results with a, a specified uh, quality of a uh, service so uh, we want to create uh, the proper trust relationship between a uh, grid entities uh, uh, nothing but if you, you can say the two kinds of trust models are oftenly used there how many trust models there are two kinds of trust models are oftenly used one is the pki in the sense a public key infrastructure a based model which is mainly uh, exploits um, the public key infrastructure to authenticate and authorize a uh, entities okay what am uh, to authenticate and authorize the entities the other is nothing but a reputation based model what ma the other is the reputation based model the grid aims uh, to construct a large scale uh, network computing system uh, the grid aims to construct a large scale network computing system by integrating a distributed and heterogeneous and one more autonomous resources whatever if we have to distributed it by integrating heterogeneous it's not the same it's different and autonomous in the sense independent resources so finally what i conclude the security challenges are faced by the grid are much greater than other computing systems okay this is the briefly i discuss what is exactly the trust models for grid security environment now we can see in ppt what is the definition of trust exactly what does it do trust trust is the fim fim is nothing but some companies what exactly we want to say are uh, some company some organizations some business some market trends whatever it may be trust okay trust is the fim believe in the competence of an entity okay to behave as expected such that this fim belief is a dynamic value it's not a static value ma uh, that fim belief is a, a dynamic value associated with the entity what it associated with that entity and it is subject to the what is the entity's a behavior how the entity behavior and how it applies only um, within a, a specific context at a given amount of time okay this is the definition of exactly a trust okay entities behavior and applies only within a specific context at a given amount of uh, a time what exactly what is the need for a grid security now we can learn about the grid security uh, what is the need need what you wanted okay what is the purpose a grid uh, system uh, consists of interconnected stand alone heterogeneous computer very very important key point this is a grid system what it consists of it consists of interconnected a stand alone heterogeneous a computers okay hetero different computers they are interconnected stand alone it consists some grid systems which work cooperatively as a single integrated computed resources what i am going to say exactly 
which work cooperatively as a single integrated computed resources so actually a grids are defined uh, what exactly we want to share some processing resources what we want to share uh, processing resources among many organizations to solve large scale problems what exactly the grids are defined uh, what we want to share some processing resources among many organizations to solve a large scale of problems now we can study about the grid system security issues what are the grid um, system security issues include already we learn about before you are discussing um, the concept of trust model for grid security environment already we discuss a grid system um, security issues what are there include in the sense some out of control access and faulty operation the name exactly out of a control access okay how to access it's out of control to access that faulty operations to some fault operations will be accessed there and malicious malicious operations will be done there and then integration of local security mechanisms okay integration of local security mechanisms and delegation misuses and then attacks um, some private attacks public attacks whatever attacks pro provinces is there in a grid system as security it issues include there and then network sniffers what exactly i want to say about a network sniffers and an application aimed at capturing the network packets and so on we have a grid system as security issues now coming to the concept of uh, important uh, trust based attributes what are the important uh, trust based attributes in the sense um, in uh, grid system user job listen carefully otherwise we can't able to understand the concepts uh, one by one first of all we have to learn what is the essential importance of uh, a trust based attributes okay in a grid system user job demands the resource sites what the user job demands the resource sites what they provide to provide some security assurance by issuing a security at demand so the resource sites needs to provide a trustworthiness what they provide a resource site needs to provide a trustworthiness called its trust index okay uh, so these two parameters must satisfy a security assurance a condition what the two parameters satisfy must and should satisfy a security assurance a condition in the sense test, uh, trust index is greater than or equal to uh, a security a demand during that the job mapping uh, a process now we can study about uh, there are three challenges uh, what are the challenges we can explain in previously also there are three challenges in trust based system the first one is interoperability with different hosting environments what i meant to say um, interoperability with a different hosting um, environments okay later we can the what we have to construct in constructing a trust relationship among uh, interactions okay a constructing a trust relationships among uh, interactions and third one is integration with uh, um, existing uh, systems and uh, technologies what of whatever the three challenges in three challenges in trust based system first of all interoperability with the different hosting environments and the second one is constructing a trust relationships among interactions and then third one integration with existing systems and technologies okay these are the three challenges in 
test based system okay now coming to the you have to learn about uh, what exactly a generalized a trust model what if you have seen in this uh, um, in this concept trust models for grid security environment we have three sub concepts first one is a generalized trust model and then the second one is reputation based trust model and third one is fuzzy trust model now we can discuss the first one that is nothing but a generalized a trust model okay what exactly is it now i can show you one diagram a general a trust model for grid computing okay the diagram if we have seen the diagram and then if we have to understand whatever the key points given below okay first of all i have to read the sentences other otherwise you can't able to understand listen carefully ma while i am reading the sentence okay the site a generalized trust model the site trustworthiness is usually calculated from the following information whatever the site a trustworthiness a trust index it is usually a calculated from the following information first one if we have to learn about the the defense capability what ma defense a uh, capability and then the and, and then a direct reputation and then what you have to learn ma direct uh, a reputation and the last one is a recommendation trust what trust a recommendation a uh, trust what exactly the defense capability in the sense the defense capability refers to the site's ability uh, to protect itself from danger what ma what i meant to say now uh, ability to protect itself okay the ability the ability to protect itself from a danger this is nothing but the defense cap capability or whatever it may be capacity okay and coming to the direct reputation what does it mean the direct reputation in the sense it is based on experiences of prior jobs prior in the sense if we have to give some important okay um, it is based on experiences of prior important jobs previously submitted to the a site previously submitted to the a site and then finally if we have to learn about uh, what exactly uh, uh, the recommendation trust in the sense we want to uh, recommended the trust is also known as a secondary trust what ma recommended uh, trust recommendation a trust is also known as a secondary trust and it is obtained and it is attained indirectly over the grid network what i meant to say ma now it is obtained or attained indirectly over the grid network recommended trust is also known as a secondary trust okay ma up to now if we have to understand now we can look at look at the diagram uh, what does the diagram represent you in the sense look this is the generalized a uh, trust model of uh, a grid security system consist the uh, following uh, mechanisms okay now we have to look at this diagram i have to read this diagram otherwise you can't be able to understand the diagram okay first one is nothing but ma this diagram is not clear to you okay now i can read that what is what in first box first box is nothing but security demand what demand ma now we have to learn about security demand already we have to learn about that security demand in the sense security demand in the sense in on our first hand a user job demands the resource site to provide security assurance by issuing a, a security a demand first one what ma security a demand in the sense and coming to the trustworthiness in the sense on the other hand the site needs to reveal its um, trustworthiness what ma trustworthiness okay is called its uh, 
ट्रस्ट इंडेक्स ओके लेटर वी कैन लर्न अबाउट व्हाट आर द इंटर इंफीरियंस एंड एग्रीगेशन व्हाट मा इन दैट बॉक्स इज नॉट विजिबल क्लैरिटी मा नाउ आई कैन रीड दैट इन थर्ड बॉक्स इन राइट डाउन ऑल ऑफ यू एट नोट्स आल्सो इवन आई एम टेलिंग इंफीरियंस एंड एग्रीगेशन व्हाट मा इन दैट थर्ड बॉक्स इंफीरियंस एंड एग्रीगेशन देयर आर डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री चैलेंजेस ओके फर्स्ट वन इज डिफेंस आई लेट लास्ट स्लाइड आई कैन एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज डिफेंस कैपेसिटी ओके एंड देन रिकमेंडेशन ट्रस्ट एंड देन डायरेक्ट रिपुटेशन ओके अप टू नाउ इफ यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड मा डिफेंस कैपेसिटी एंड देन रिकमेंडेशन ट्रस्ट एंड देन डायरेक्ट रिपुटेशन ओके नाउ वी कैन लर्न अबाउट इन दैट डिफेंस कैपेसिटी इफ यू हैव टू टेक सम इंट्रूशन डिटेक्शन फर्स्ट वन इंट्रूशन डिटेक्शन टू डिटेक्ट सम इंट्रूशन फॉल्ट एंड देन वी हैव टू रेस्पॉन्स सम कैपबिलिटीज सम कैपेसिटीज वॉट एवर इट मे बी रेस्पॉन्स कैपबिलिटीज वॉट म रेस्पॉन्स कैपबिलिटीज एंड देन एंटी वैरस कैपेसिटी वॉट द डिफेंस कैपेसिटी इट गिवस एंटी वैरस capacity and finally a firewall okay up to now if we have to understand the the defense capacity in a recommendation trust there is no ways to describe and then coming to the direct reputation the first one is job success rate what success rate ma a job success rate and then the second one is job turn around time what i meant to say now job turn around a time and then the third one is job slow down ratio what ma job slow down ratio and then and then uh, the the last one is in direct reputation that is nothing but site utilization how the site it will be utilized to you okay the site utilization this is the graphical this is the um, hierarchy level of uh, general trust model for uh, a grid computing uh, uh, figure representation okay now we can uh, um, explain about uh, this diagram uh, um, explanation of the general general what does the figure shows you uh, the general uh, trust model for a grid computed for general trust model for grid computing the figure representation okay sorry ma the figure is not appearing good ma um now i can once again i have to repeat it this diagram in the words first one is security demand and second one is trust worthiness and third one is inference and aggregation and we have to divided into three types defense capacity recommendation trust direct reputation in that defense capacity we have four intrusion detection response capabilities anti virus capacity and then last one firewall and coming to the recommendation trust there is no way to describe that uh, recommendation trust and coming to the direct reputation we have described the four ways first one is job success rate and second one is job turn around time and third one is job slow down uh, ratio and fourth one is site utilization okay what does the figure explains you in the sense through the uh, figure uh, shows a general trust model ma at the bottom um, at the bottom listen carefully the diagram explanation at the bottom identified uh, three major factors okay uh, which influence the uh, trustworthiness okay of a, a resource a site so an inference uh, mode an inference module is required uh, to aggregate these factors so so uh, following or some existing uh, inference or aggregation uh, methods okay now we can look at this diagram an intra site fuzzy inference procedure is called uh, to assess a defense capability what ma an intra site fuzzy inference procedure 
is also called to assess defense capability and direct reputation listen carefully coming to the defense capability is decided by the um, firewall and intrusion detection system and intrusion response capability and antivirus capacity of the individual resource site and then if we have seen direct reputation it is decided based on the job success rate and site utilization and job turn around time and job slow down ratio what we want to measure there okay so finally what i meant to say a recommended trust is also known as secondary trust and it is obtained uh, or attained indirectly over the uh, grid network okay up to now we have to explain a generalized trust model in further video we can explain reputation based trust model and fuzzy uh, trust model okay up to now thank you ma